Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. Hope you're doing great today. This is the sequel to This Present Darkness, Piercing the Darkness. Now, they've redone the covers a little bit. I'll tell you, the original covers are iconic. They are just amazing. I think maybe Ron DeCiani, who's an amazing Christian artist, did those covers for Crossway Books. But this is one of those rare instances where a sequel is as good or just about as good as the first one, Frank Peretti's Assembly of God, and he, uh, he really caught the dynamic of the spiritual world about angels and demons, not the Dan Brown angels and demons. And I, I think it's fairly accurate scripturally. There's a couple things that uh, I don't think are scriptural, like angels using sort of spirit, which would be scriptural, but like demons cutting and screaming and all this. I'm like, eh, you know, who knows what is that going? I do know we can bind their kings with fetters of iron, Psalm 149, through praise and worship and obedience to the the word and through scripture it's a sword of the spirit which is the word of god and so we have web the name of jesus weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to pulling down a stronghold so if you're in the spiritual warfare or just want another perspective on things this book excellent book put out by crossway publishing and uh, frank peretti just never kind of he came out one called the prophet i read that and uh, some other books even children's books and he's just never been able to kind of recapture what went on he had one against abortion that i've talked to people and they actually say that's their favorite book of all of them i read it i liked it it was not to me as good as uh, piercing the darkness which is the sequel to this present darkness so just just wanted to recommend it. Great book. We are wrestling spiritual warfare. We do fight these things. Get in the battle. Get in. Know your weaponry. Know your power and authority in the name of Jesus. Live for God. Obey Him. Give no place to the devil. And let's see God do amazing things in this end time hour. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name.